Uh, hey guys, I wanted to do another Golf Clash video here. I uh, wanted to show you my current bag setup. Uh, this is going to be for the Winter Lynx Tournament. And uh, I want to just go ahead and do a couple holes here. Uh, maybe like three. And I also wanted to talk about how to properly play your ring system. So I have a Thor driver, which is roughly 74 backspin, 70, yeah, 74 backspin, I believe. I think it's like 64 accuracy. So on 64 accuracy, we're probably looking somewhere in the neighborhood of 1.7 per ring based on the accuracy chart now I do have that on one of my video comments I, I put the whole chart in I'm not exactly sure where which video but it's one of the middle tours maybe like seven or eight it's one of the videos that I did it has all the ring numbers and um, on um, On tour um, seven or eight, that's where I'd start to look for it. Um, I'm gonna try to do the back, the the backspin shot here for this hole. Now I don't have any driver that has more backspin than this. This is the most out of everything that I have. So what you're gonna see me do is I'll I'll try to basically rotate the screen and wherever it looks like it's pointed straight I'll go just a little bit more north in an instance like this and then I'll pull up this way caught four rings I'm gonna go for this wind since it's into the wind I'm gonna go just a, a touch more uh, I like to be on the safe side on this hole you see it's starting to come around it's just a little lazy because of that uh, great ball to the left that I hit So again, like what I was mentioning, I was probably playing that one more towards maybe like 1.8 per ring, give or take. Um, so the thing with drivers, or anything really, the more you are towards min club, which I was very close to min club there, the numbers change on the ring system. So I might play at 1.7 for a full max shot and if it's downwind I'll even I'll, I'll even play it less than that I might play at 1.3 for example but that's just all feel there's no book on what it's supposed to be I mean I think the rings just as a whole are just kind of a guide to just help you anyway so um, I'm definitely going to try to probably not qualify today so I'm just gonna do kind of a tutorial video for you guys I'm probably gonna play kind of slow um, now what I, I did want to do is I wanted to start this chest up I don't think I want to qualify today and for the most part I don't think my bag is really gonna change up here um, you know what I don't need I don't need Goliath though so I can put either Saturn or backbone in I try to tend towards uh, Saturn just in case you need that uh, extra backspin in this tour. There's some, there's a couple tight holes where you could really get in a mess, and and the, one of the biggest problems with backbone is it just doesn't have a lot of top or backspin. It's just kind of like a nice middle club. It, it it doesn't really have a lot of special features other than accuracy. So you don't see me use that one very much. So I'm going to set my bag up like this, and I'm going to do a couple more holes here. So as you see, this one's downwind, um, and this is kind of what I was just mentioning before which was 
when downwind shots I'll play it a little bit different so I'll know that it's probably gonna go at least maybe about five like four or five rings from that bullseye on full power um, so I'm just trying to get a visual of kind of where my ball is so I'll look at that white ring as kind of a landing zone and I'm gonna try to do this one with a little bit of curl here to really keep it from going right that second fairway over there really likes to shoot the balls right once you get to that second fairway and again I was just kind of guessing and as you can see I didn't add enough anyway I could have put on a Titan ball made it a little bit easier I'm not overly worried about it. I'll probably honestly just pitch it out into the fairway and then show you where you should drive it. And then I'll just, you know, get the par or bogey on this hole. Because like I mentioned before, I, I'm not interested in qualifying today. I'm more about getting feel for the shot. So you saw me put a quasar there. Like if I was actually playing for real and needed the hole, I'd put a Titan ball on downwind. So I am going to try for that fairway. You see this guy going for the middle one. Um, it's okay over there, but uh, I wouldn't suggest it. It really cuts out your angle. And I think the shot's just a little bit easier over here. Now I could, you know, I could blast it up towards the green. And I, to be honest with you, I could probably hit the green from here. Just do it with some curl. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit it to where I want my ball to be normally. You're going to see me, you know, it's going to be more towards the middle, rolling down towards the right. In fact, you, you also want to be mindful of that right rough when you're playing this hole. So you'll see I'll put like left curl, plus I'll put left spin, try to keep all the momentum from going down and trickling into the rough there. And this is one of the biggest reasons I don't like having Goliath in my bag. If he had Saturn, he could hit this shot very easily. He could just use full backspin and could just get it right next to the hole. Goliath makes this shot a little bit more challenging. Actually, a lot more challenging. You're saying he's coming in deep. Now, he almost got... He almost got kind of fortunate so if you get it a little bit more right than what he did it would have actually fed a little bit more towards the hole now it wouldn't have went back to the hole but it would have went towards the hole so for here i'll try to size the first thing i try to do is i try to size up my club so i'm right at max distance well the accuracy numbers is about 50 for this which is going to be kind of right on 2.0 give or take so I'll play this about four rings and you see how I'm just letting that last bounce just kind of trickle down the hill so I'm going to do the same thing as you'll see me zoom in I'll rotate and I'll rotate just to the right of center and put it right on about four rings I'll just keep it just a little on the short side here let's see if I can get this one to it's just a little hot just a tiny I should have pulled back just a little bit more. And more than that, more than anything. Um, so if this guy misses this, I, I, I'd actually kind of like the forfeit. I'm just gonna do that. Just give this guy this birdie, just in case he missed. Um, and that way I get a bogey and um, instead of a par if he makes it. It's gonna be easier not to qualify by giving up more strokes. Now let's go ahead and uh, go to hole three here. Which one's this? This is that drivable, okay. So if you get the wind on this one, you can go for the green. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay up so we can talk more about the ring system a little bit here. Um, and one of the things that you see is those last two, like all, and I've talked about this in some other videos, as, as opposed to going exactly the way that the wind is pointing, I'll go just a little, I'll rotate just a little bit past more towards north-south. 
depending on whether it's downwind or into the wind. And the reason that I do that is because it just seems to play a little bit more true for me that way, using the ring numbers. And you see that guy almost popped it up on the green here. I probably, to be honest with you, will go for that shot with a Titan come the weekend, or I might even put Apocalypse on and I should be able to get it. But for just the purposes of this video, and not qualifying, I'm gonna go this way today. Just for you guys. And uh, you gotta be careful of how much top spin you put here. So you see I'm gonna use about one bar. Um, this'll, this'll start to take away. And again, like I was mentioning before, so one of the things that you'll see that I'm doing, I'm gonna pull back, not here. Like here's where even would be. I'm gonna pull back just a little bit on the short side. So when I pull straight down here, and again, I'm gonna go about four, four rings, give or take. No extra side spin or curl or anything. When you pull back that way, it's a little bit more safe of a pullback because it keeps it shorter as opposed to if you would just go straight sometimes and if it came in too hot, it would run through that fairway. Pull back on the shorter distance there it seems to not run out too far. Um, and more so than anything, I think the way that I'm pulling it back to at an angle, it's basically taking some of the guesswork of how the ball's going to respond post land after you see the, the shot trail changing. The way that I'm pulling, I think, makes it pull back to where you don't have to really consider that as much. It'll just basically kind of re-adjust the way that, like, just the way that you would think that it was going to change. It, it pulls it back more true towards that. So the first thing that you'll see me do on these pitches is I'll kind of get a feel for how far I am. I'm at least... 75% like mid distance club here. So the number that I use for mid distance is about two and a half per, a little bit over two and a half. And I'm gonna just cheat it to about, I'll probably go about two and a half per. So about two and a half rings here. See if I can't get this at about two and a half. The very last, yeah, so it might have been, you know, maybe two and a quarter rings. Because I, I feel like I might have even over pulled two and a half. So you're seeing not too much there. And, uh, you know, you just got to kind of stick with a number. Get, get a number in your head and you just got to kind of go with it. Because, as you can see, you know, I incorrectly played that wing, uh, ring system. So it's like you just kind of got to get a feel for it and and you see how I always rotate the screen to basically be north and south every time. That's just the method I use. It keeps it super simple. And uh, it's just the way that I kind of like to do it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this tutorial video. I was going to break this into segments so it's not like super long. So we'll do this shot and then I'm going to just go ahead and and this one. Um, so same thing here. Look, I'm more towards North Thor here. I like to do about four bars of top spin. And, and you saw how it was mostly towards max club. So, and again, it's kind of into the wind. So you'll see me just rotate just a little bit more North and Again, I'm going to play more towards max. And so, you know, three and a half rings here should be more than enough. And I always try to slingshot it as much as possible. So whatever max curl is, that's what I always do on this hole. Let's see if I just can't keep momentum. I like keeping momentum on the ball so it really kind of shoots down off that fairway and goes more towards the hole. And you're seeing it just get to the right there. But it had good momentum to get there. What that allows you to do is it lets you put it inside, you know, a yard and a half every time, as long as you don't mess that shot up. 
that's the way I like it. It's not, uh, you know, there's so many ways to play this hole, so many different approaches. It's more about executing the right approach that you're going with every time, more than anything. So I just keep that in mind and uh, let's see what this guy pops is too. And again, I do like Apocalypse more than Thor. I feel like my shot would have even been better with more curls, so. And you're seeing this guy, same kind of thing. He, he's got a lot of momentum on this ball, so this is actually well, kind of well done, but you see it kind of slowing down. He might actually stop it before getting inside my distance. It looks like he is going to. It's gonna be very close though, yeah. So you saw some of his momentum get taken away as soon as it hit the green and he wasn't able to trickle inside my ball. So anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of give you this tutorial video and kind of show you some sh some shots here. Um, good luck with your tournament. Um, I will keep you posted on mine, but today it's just gonna be a practice round for me. So um, good luck all.